wanted to adjust Superman so he looks more like he's flying. That's better. Yeah, so I just wanted to make this real quick video about the NECA dynamic figure stand. If anybody's looked at these in the store and thought, should they buy them or if it's worth it. And uh, I would say, yeah, they, they're they pretty good, man. I mean, look at that pose you get with him flying. That's a flight pose. You get the arch back, everything. The, the stand's pretty well hidden. I mean, you can cover this up with anything, paper, anything. And then that's all you'll really see. And you can even hide that better, I'm sure. But as far as the stand goes, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. It's got the pivot here. So, you can go up or down with them. It's got another pivot here. So, you could spin the thing. Goes up and down here, so I can raise him to fly higher. That's as high as it goes right there. You see it maxed out. And it still holds the figure pretty well. Now I twisted the arm, so let's twist the arm back up. Get that better angle of the flight. Look at that. So, yeah, I would recommend these stands. Okay, so there's one more piece, too. There's this piece, right? Now I took this piece off. And this piece goes right here, because obviously... With the extension, and if you're doing a flight pose, the extension will make it too weak. So you have to take this out if you're doing a flight pose. But I prefer having this in if I'm doing a stand-in pose. So if I want to get... And I'll take this whole thing right out. And then this slides right into here. And that's it. Now... Again, you go up or down depending on how tall the figure is and where you want it. Usually the figure, you know, the waist is going to be probably somewhere around there. And you take your little clamp off. You replace it around the back this time. Plug that right back in. And, I mean, yeah. That was just really quick posing, but you could see how dynamic the dy Yeah, I didn't really have much glass surfaces to choose from, so this window was my best option. But, uh... I apologize for the lighting and with the sun and whatnot, but as you can see, the figure stand is uh, pretty sturdy. Batman's obviously not a flying character, but you can have him like that. Obviously, with the coat, he's leaning forward, his jacket and stuff, but if he didn't have the trench coat on, he would be standing up straighter and look like he's actually hovering so you can stick it to your back of your display case like that and display a hovering figure have superman hovering off the ground or this piece pops right out can't really see in there this piece and then Obviously, you just spin this to the side. It's kind of tough to do with Batman's coat, but you spin the hook to the side and then stick this back in and you'll have them flying like that. And yeah, this is a this is a pretty hefty figure too with all this rubber and plastic and whatnot. 
and he holds up there just fine. You know? I mean, this is also a $20 figure, so if he fell, I wouldn't be super concerned about it, but, you know, as far as sticking a hot toys or something on here, I don't know, but as far as NECA and McFarlane and Legends, yeah, I would trust this stand for any of those figures without a problem. So, yeah, it's that simple. I mean, that's ratcheted all the way in. Of course, this extends all the way out, but I wouldn't recommend that with the hanging figure, if, especially a figure of this size and weight, but you could. It's an option. It's there for you, but I would recommend keeping it in. Yeah, that's all. That was the last piece of this, uh... NECA dynamic figure stand. NECA dynamic figure stand. Here. Yeah. So, as I said, you can have them like that. Have a hovering figure. Or you can have them flying. You can have them des ascending up. You can have them come descending down. It's a really nice stand honestly it's worth the uh, whatever $15 it was for sure 